The crate weighs 500 pounds, and the dolly under it has four wheels with half-inch diameter axles and five-inch diameter wheels. You've got a coefficient of static friction and a coefficient of kinetic friction. We're going to neglect rolling resistance and find how much we have to pull on it to start it moving, and then how much we have to pull on it to keep it moving once it's going. So here's my axle. The radius of the axle is 0.25 inches. And here's my wheel. This I'm only considering one wheel at the moment, so the radius of this wheel is 2.5, half the diameters. On these wheels, we've got each of them has half a quarter of the weight and a quarter of the pull, because we have four wheels. We also want to define the friction circle. The friction circle is going to have some radius RF, where RF is R sine phi S, or in this case, R sine times the arctan of our mu. The mu is going to differ from mu s to mu k, depending on which one we're going to do. So here's our free body diagram. We also are going to have, acting at some angle theta, our resultant from the normal and friction forces. This resultant is going to be tangent to the friction surface. So that comes in straight at a line. The radius out to there gives you a right angle. So if we blow that up again, here's my friction circle radius vertical comes down at theta. This is the radius of the wheel. That would be right here at this dotted line. Here's my reaction force R. If this is theta, then so is this theta. And I can say something useful like sine theta is RF over RW. How are we going to relate this RF, which we just found, to be RA sine tan negative inverse of mu? We want to use these facts that come from friction to find the answers to the question. Specifically, we've got to do the sum of the forces in the x and y direction. So I have in the x direction, p over 4 is going to be r sine theta, and in the y direction, I have w over 4 is going to be r cosine theta. I'm going to divide this one by that one and show that tan theta is going to be p over w. Your r's cancel, your fourths cancel, and all you end up with is tan theta equals p over w, or in this case, p equals w tan theta. w we know is 500 pounds, so now I need to know what theta is. But I know that sine theta is ra over rw sine tan inverse of mu. So now I know what the answer's got to be. I need to figure out which mu I'm using in various cases. So for impending motion, it hasn't moved yet, but it's going to move shortly. I'm going to use mu equals mu s. For constant speed, I'm going to use mu equals mu k. And for each of these things, now I want to solve. Sine theta is ra is 0 0.25 over 2.5. Sine tan inverse of 0 0.12, where mu equals mu s. This gives you 0.11915. Theta is 0 0.68267 degrees. And then P, which is 500 tan theta, gives you P equals 5.96 pounds to move. That's the answer to our first question. Now, if I want to move it at a constant speed, mu has to be equal to mu k. So I've got sine theta, same formula, 0 0.25 over 2.5 sine of tan inverse but now I've got 0 0.08, that mu k needed to keep it moving. That gives you a theta value of 0 0.45691 degrees. And you can plug that into the same formula, p equals 500 tan theta. p equals 3.99 pounds to move at constant speed.